Hey everyone, welcome back. It's time for us to pick back up where we left off. This was a seamless cut because I didn't stop playing. So episode 2 is exactly where we left off on episode 1. Time to put that core in the monument. And just like that, the bastion comes alive. Starts growing again. Growing stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the bastion can send them even farther into the wild unknown. Hmm, got some interesting stuff here. Let's see. Foundation. Kid ponders what to build. I can build a distillery or an arsenal. Probably an arsenal would be better, so I can change my weapons out. Mirror shield available. Let's check it out. The Bastion's a place of peace, but we can hold our own if we have to. Breaker bow, repeater, hammer. Or can, you can set two ranged weapons and not have any... Oh wow, you can. That'd be kind of awkward though. Definitely gonna stick with a melee weapon. Stick with my bow. I'll change this back to whirlwind. Ain't much kid can handle with hammer and bow in hand. Whoop. That'd be the fall to your death. Well, I guess we gotta go this way. Kid don't know what's out there waiting for him. The Skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind to distant lands. Alright, so we're at the Bastion, home base. To harness the Bastion's powers to cut cores across the city and beyond. Got the workman ward. Core detected. Find it, bring it back. There may be useful supplies here as well. Breaker barracks. It's a proving ground. Here, the breakers once honed skills. Or what was it? Both. So. I don't know what you get for proving yourself, but let's go find out. That sounds pretty cool. The Breakers used to come here for target practice. Used to play a little game. See who could bust the most targets in the fewest shots. Clear our targets in the few shots. He's focused. He's armed, and he's off. A perfect shot just happens in a flash. So let me aim where I want. Shots are few. He returns with some of the materials we need. Ain't always much to say. Hmm. What's this? Oh, that's the wharf, okay. I'm gonna go back to the proving ground and try that a few more times off camera. Unless I have like some awesome run, and then we'll pick up right here at the uh, workman ward. I'm a completionist, I have to do things until I win. Kid ain't had enough of the breaker's barracks. Mm -hmm. 
takes practice, and a mighty strong bow helps too. All right, guys, here we go. I got second place prize my second try, but I'm not gonna go for the first place prize right now. So it's time to go take on the Workman Ward. Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets, but which one? He heads for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. Kid ain't ever seen an elephant squirt before. Oh? He's come back and digest just about anything. Except oh. for this, it's quick for slicing and light enough to throw. Cool. New weapon. I like it. Oh. Say even the most rambunctious squirts can be tame. Very trigger to use. No the sign of the core here. At least the kid got something for his trouble. Squirts don't make the best of friends, but they can be useful at a pinch. Hmm, so you get like magic spells too, I guess. Probably tames like another another squirt if it comes near it. That's my guess. Looks like he used one of my tonics as well. Them squirts just don't know when to quit. Let's try it out. Oh, no, it's attacking. <laughs> Let's see if he like summons. He heads for the east side. Where windbags used to keep the local forge. And so many different Odd ways to place go. to find the likes of Percy the Snitch. Never much cared for that big wide grin of his. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? Somehow that old forge is still standing. What? This is really annoying, jeez. I'm going to 
going to the forge here in a sec. Inside the forge, Key can fine tune those instruments of his. Cool, cool. So, something heavy upgrades the hammer, something stringy upgrades the bow, and something fancy. It's probably for a weapon I haven't unlocked yet. Alright. Speed string, 25% draw speed. Cost 175. That one's blocked. So I guess you have to buy him in order? I don't know. With a good length of me gun, that bow's like new again. Stab with arrowheads comes next. 50% damage. Cool, I like this. You can upgrade all your weapons and everything. Oh, I see these two upgrades. I didn't see what this one was. Plus two target penetration for a shot. Oh, you get to pick one or the other. Alright, you buy one and you choose it. I'm gonna stick with the draw speed. Alright, let's get out of there. So you have to use money and items to do the upgrades. Core ain't here neither, so he's gotta guess again. It's okay, let's try out my boat now. Kinda makes the power shot harder. The path is gone for good. And his city crest won't bring it back. Now you have like a really small time frame for that power shot. Wow, my summon is still out here kicking butt. Up north is where the gas for the foreman used to live, tending to his flock. Can't hurt my own son. That's good. No white gas fellas all dress alike. Kids wondering the same thing. So did I just happen to pick the right path last, or is it supposed to be like that? This looks ominous. And there it is, but it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. Lustery old foreman's keeping his fellas in check, almost like he's showboating for the crowd. God damn. I'm stuck. So annoying these guys are. Oh my god. What are you supposed to do with these guys? There's a new marshal in town. Whoa. Oh, okay. If you kill him, the other guys die. Those guys suck, man. You like, really have to fight to get out of the range. Let's get that core. He has the whole place grown, but it's too tough to fall. Might as well check the other side streets before leaving this hole. Pretty sure I checked all the streets. What's this? Skyway. Fountain. He heads for the biggest dump in town. Scumbag Alley. Some scumbag still feeding off the city's own trash. The old 
the scumbag of them all, Gershel. Whoa. Kid cuts up Gershel like a fine apple. All scumbag didn't feel a thing. Kid's ready to go, and his ticket out's right where he started. Get anything from coming up this way? I'm not seeing anything. Hmm. Okay, I guess you just uh, fight that guy for experience. Something sharp. I'd probably upgrade my machete, I'd guess. I feel like I'm playing Zelda where I probably don't have enough money to upgrade right now. Or yeah, I roll everywhere. In Zelda, I used to just roll the whole way through the game because it was faster. Alright. I know you want me to go back. I'm just checking. Let's go. He comes back just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack. The monument's calling for it. What are you gonna say, stranger? The windbags used to be all right. Then the calamity took the floor out from under them. Kid does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we're gonna build next then. We can do a forge or a distillery. I think a forge would be better. I can upgrade my weapons. A lot of things need fixing up in this world, and we can start right here. 20% critical hit chance. Attracts cripple foe. Deal damage over time. That's cool. It's only 150. Oh, the hammer, what does it get? 50% damage. Man, I can't argue with 50% damage. Kids lifelong friends looking fit to keep on fighting. Yeah. So now we want to switch weapons, and that is here. Here are some machete for hammer. And let's go. Secret skill. Secret technique that automatically counterblocks all oncoming attacks for a short time. Uh, that seems too situational. Summons a loyal squirt companion to the rescue. Popular children's birthday parties. Whirlwind. Especially if it stacks with the damage bonus of the hammer. That'd be awesome. Alright, let's get out of there. Oh. You know what that means. Time for the end of this episode, guys. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. Bring you right back here for the next episode I was, as we take on the next area that the game gives us. So thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you had fun and I'll see you there.